Hey guys, welcome to the level two algebra skills playlist here. So we're going to be covering thirds and combined problems with thirds. So let's get started. So the first question we've got here is 30, um, the fifth root of 32 x to the power of 10. So what I'm going to write this as 32 uh, x to the power of 10. And I need to make sure that this whole thing is raised to the power of one fifth. Okay, so what I've done is I basically put this entire thing to the power of one fifth. And the reason I put one fifth was because this bracket has a power of one, and that's how I get that one fifth. Okay, so the next thing is that 32 also has a power of one. So if I think about it, then I'm going to get uh, 32 to the power of one times one fifth, and then x to the power of 10 times one fifth. So 32 to the power one, one times one fifth is just one fifth, and then I'm going to get 10 times one fifth is two. 32 to the power of a fifth is actually 2, so this answer ends up being 2x squared. Now, if you are not comfortable with that, you could always use your calculator. So 32 to the power of 1 fifth is 2. Okay, so let's do the next one. We've got 16x to the power of quarter, and so remember that 16 has a power of 1 and x has a power of 1. So this is going to be 16 to the power of 1 times a quarter. And same with the x, it's going to be x to the power of 1 times a quarter. So what we have is 16 to the power of quarter and x to the power of quarter. Now 16 to the power of quarter is 2. x to the power of quarter, I can't really do anything with it, so I'm just going to leave it as, I could leave it as uh, like this with uh, the fourth root of x. Okay, so let's have a look at question number 16. We've got 16, which has a power of 1. So this is going to end up looking 16 to the power of 1 multiplied by half and then x to the power of 8 multiplied by half multiplied by 25 which has a power of 1. So it's going to be 25 to the power of 1 times half. So we got 1 times half multiplied by x to the power of 6 times a half. So what we've got here is 16 to the power of half, x to the power of 8 times half is 4, multiplied by 25 to the power of half, because 1 times half is half, multiplied by x to the power of 6 times half, which is 3. So we can actually do um, 16 to the power of half, which is 4. So we've got 4x to the power of 4, multiplied by 25 to the power of half is 5, and then x cubed as it is. So 5 times 4 is 20, and then x to the power of 4 times x to the power of 3 is x to the power of 7. All right, let's go to the next question. Just going to kind of leave it here so you guys can have a look at that. So the next question, what we have is 21, 27. So we're going to put 27 with the power of 1. We also got 49 here, so I'm going to put a 1 there just to make things easy. So we've got 27 to the power of 1 multiplied by two-thirds, x to the power of six multiplied by two-thirds, and this whole thing multiplied by 49 to the power of one multiplied by half, and x to the power of four multiplied by half. <clears throat> so when we do this, we get 27 to the power of two-thirds, and then we've got six times two-thirds, so it's gonna be x, six times two-thirds, 12, 12 over three is four, multiplied by 49 to the power of one times half is just half, and x to the power of four times half, which equals to two. So once we get this, we need to actually figure out what 27 to the power of two thirds is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the calculator here. I do know the answer is nine, um, but I will show you guys how, well, let's just show you guys how to do this first. So 27 to the um, power of two thirds is nine. Now the reason I knew that it was 9 was because I know that the uh, when I look at the 3 there, that's the cube root. So cube root of 27 is 3, and then when I do 3 squared is 9. Now, if I kind of went through that really fast, I do apologize, but uh, maybe I'll chuck a video later on for it. But anyway, so we've got uh, x to the power of 4 as is, and then we've got 49 to the power of half, which is the same thing as saying square root of 49, which equals to 7, and x squared stays as it is. So then we've got 9 times 7, which is 63, and then x to the power of 4 times 2, which is 6. 
sorry, I should have said x to the power of 4 times x to the power of 2. So that's how we add the two um, powers up. All right, guys, basically it for this video. As usual, don't forget to like this video and share this video. And of course, subscribe if you want to keep up with the latest content and also keep up with the live tutorials. There should be some playlists popping up as well just to help you guys out. That's basically it. Thank you for watching.